What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video before we get into what we're going to be getting into. I did want to give a big shout out and a congratulations to the two winners to the big giveaway uh, that we did here on the channel, the 500 sub giveaway. So congratulations to Rahat, uh, who's actually uh, you know in our clan family. And to Fabi from Dark Looters, those were the, the two winners in, that won, that each won a $50 uh, Google Play gift card. So again, congratulations to them and thank you all for your support to the channel. At any rate, now that that's out of the way, what we're going to be covering is the Town Hall 10 attacks. We're so used to seeing Lalo, uh, you know, the Sui here Lalo, CB Lalo, uh, the BK Val Lalo. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but there are other attacks that we have been seeing, you know, creep in. I wouldn't even say there's so much a part of the meta anymore, but just a different way of viewing bases. People, usually when people look at a Town Hall 10, they look at how they can take it down with balloons. And for very good reason, because uh, balloons are still very overpowering. But I'm going to be demonstrating a few different attacks um, on different style of base layouts. Uh, just to look at things a little bit differently. So the very first attack we're going to be looking at is Virgo, who is ran by Rexum. Uh, again, welcome to the clan, Rex. He joined from Sons of, uh, Sons of Anarchy. At any rate, I'm always giving shout-outs. You guys know that. So he's going to be doing this um, with a, sh a shattered hobo. So we're going to go ahead and see exactly how he breaks this base down. Uh, you'll see right there he started off at 6 o'clock where he dropped his first golem. Over there all the way at 9 o'clock is where he drops the second one. Has a baby dragon on each side uh, just trying to set this funnel. Drops a jump right on that mortar to, leave, to lead everything into uh, where the heroes are. And just bringing a whole bunch of bowlers. Uh, bowlers on each side just trimming this trash. Having that nice funnel. Look at all those bowlers heading right into the base. And also has five bowlers uh, that came out of the CC. Goes ahead and drops a poison. And even with this Hound Loon, he still, have, with this heavy kill squad, still sends in the Queen. A lot of people don't, uh, when they know there's a Hound Loon in the CC, they always uh, basically suicide the AQ mm -hmm. somewhere else. But he basically just went ahead and goes and just brings the Queen in right behind. Does have two jumps. Hogs coming in over at 3 o'clock. Just sends them all in. Uh, I believe he had 20 Hogs on this attack with two heals. Already dropped the first one on that first group. And they just swarm uh, this Inferno Tower. And the Archer Queen goes ahead and takes down the second one. And you'll see just like that. Now this was a lighter. Uh, this was a lighter Town Hall 10. But a Town Hall 10 nevertheless. And with these level 6 hogs. It seems when they hit a giant bomb. Uh, if it's a single giant bomb. It seems like they just roll right through. It doesn't even. Uh, you know it hardly even phases them. And we are starting to see more hog attacks. Uh, not just a Town Hall 10. But in the dip game as well. As far as the 11 v 10 action goes. So hogs are slowly making their way um, back into the game um, as far as heavy hitters are concerned. So really good job to wreck some, uh, really wrecking this base. Again, it was a lighter Town Hall 10, but a Town, uh, a town Hall 10 nevertheless. Last building to go down was the Builder Hut up at 12 o'clock. So just again, just another way, and still ended with a bunch of hogs, guys. Just another way of breaking down these bases and attacking them, of, you know, just a little differently. So now let's go ahead and check out um, an, a Town Hall 10 using Bitch. All right, next up, demonstrating no loon 10v10 attacks, we got Lady B on Beefy account. I'm sure you guys have all heard of her doing it with bitch and we have and if you just take a look at this base guys take a look at this base this is not a light town hall 10 this is a fully max tier 5 town hall 10 um, also known as an 89k uh, the only reason why it's not a 90k weight is because of the walls but the defenses are completely maxed so I'm telling you if you guys are looking at these bases determining the value you can get from your jumps. If you have two jumps that has a direct path to those Inferno Towers, and you can have a nice flank going down each side with the Witches and the Bowlers, even if it's a max Town Hall 10, uh, this replay 
uh, was ending in two minutes. So it wasn't like this was a close call. This base ends up being completely smashed um, with that epic funnel that she had. Look at the flank that she has on each side. Just take a look at all those bowlers, all those witches. Does have the, the bowlers in the CC, did not go with the golem. And you'll see right there the queen just being tanked perfectly right there in the core, um, tanking both those expos. And you'll see she still has the archer queen ability and didn't even have to use it to get through uh, the Inferno Tower on the back end. And the Queen goes ahead and takes that jump, pretty much leading um, to the rest of these the major threats. Pops the ability on that Expo. You'll see that Golem is still leading right in front as she's about to take out that Wizard Tower. Still has a Witch working on Elixir Storage uh, over at about 10 o'clock. And, and you see the bowlers and the witches rounding the bend. Still has a whole bunch of them left. And there's only a couple defenses left to go down. And whenever you guys can do it, make sure you at least get that bowler trade. Um, where you can bowler bounce a mortar. It really helps at the very end. Uh, keeping the skeletons and the witches up. And you'll see the queen even survives. Last defense to go down was the cannon. Big shout out to Lady B. Keep up the good work doing those epic shots streams that you're doing and you guys see right there no balloons 10 v 10 three star you all right guys here is our last and final example coming from none other than groovy tony groovy tony three to be specific and now i know the other attacks there were literally no loons um but this one he does have four camp loons and he's also going to be having something extra special coming out of the cc with the cc loons so still not something we see a whole lot um but he's doing it with dragons guys doing it with a queen charge uh starting on this base on the upper right hand side just setting up a nice funnel with these wizards and this is really about to get interesting in a hurry and you guys are going to see these four air defenses right here, if you look at that compartment um, where, the, where the queen is, he can access all four of those air defenses um, with his queen. The wizards went ahead and took out the first one. Uh, you see he does have a poison on that hound loon. We can go ahead and just speed this up real quick as that hound pops. Uh, nothing too exciting there. And there's the fair play jump. Going to be heading right in. But can, as you can see, those wizards funneled all the trash. So the next closest building um, was where that air defense is where that air defense is and that expo right there so you can see two out of the four air defenses are already down at this point and you're going to see when he drops down his king he's going to be funneling all this trash right down here remember uh, just I mean obviously Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 could not I mean are two worlds apart but as far as the pathing, how the pathing goes with dragons, it really is the same um, as far as you can't have any stray dragons wandering outside the base getting picked off um, by point defenses. And that's where the king comes into play. Uh, you'll see that king is just clearing all that trash, keeping the dragons and the CC loons, um, just wiping out these defenses. And what's miraculous is the king is actually going to survive uh, the entire length of the raid. All four air defenses are down at this point. He did drop the four camp loons um, up there just below where the town hall was. There's an archer tower. So that's what he used those um, balloons for, his camp loons. And there is still a big chunk of the base left but if you take a close look at it all air targeting defenses are down has a bunch of minions left he's clean up even swagged a poison on this um only had to use that one poison to take care of uh the hound loon that came out of the cc and just like that um a lot it looks a lot easier than it really is but just an amazing job on that attack from groovy tony three doing it with dragons guys so i know I mean, Lalo, you know, using loons at Town Hall 10 is still the meta. Um, even with, you know, some people are saying they're the same. Some people are saying uh, that, you know, it was a nerf on this last update to the balloons. So they, but regardless, they are still what we're pretty much seeing with the Town Hall 10 three stars as far as hit rate goes. But if you guys take a look at these attacks um, using bitch, using dragons, using hogs 
Um, we got a bunch of different examples of different attacks that you can really, if you break down these bases, study these bases, you break them down, there are other attacks besides just your traditional uh, Sui Hero Lalo that we're pretty much only seeing at Town Hall 10. Just spicing it up a little bit uh, with these attacks. I hope you guys enjoyed all the footage. I'm trying to crank out these videos as quickly and Remember, it's not just quantity, but quality. Trying to crank out these videos for you guys. So again, thank you for su supporting the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.